Hey guys, this is Chetan Bhavani from Gizmo Times and you're watching the comparison between the Realme 1 and the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro. These two smartphones in the mid-range category are now the toughest competitors after the Asus Zenfone Max Pro was launched but that also suffered with those flash sale issues. Now the Realme 1 is launched as an Amazon exclusive and it is a sub-brand of Oppo. Let's talk about what these two phones differ with. Initially with the chipset itself because that is a major difference here. The Realme 1 comes with the MediaTek Helio P60 chipset compared to the Qualcomm Snapdragon 636 powering the Redmi Note 5 Pro. In terms of the speed, the clock speed of the Realme 1's MediaTek Helio P60 is faster with a 2GHz chipset compared to the 1.8GHz one on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 636. Also with the benchmarks, if you can check the scores here, the Realme 1 is clearly a winner. Though I won't really say that uh, this is uh, a fair comparison because we are using a 6GB RAM variant of the Realme 1 when compared to the 4GB RAM variant of the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Let's talk about the display. It's a 6 inch display on both of them, both having the same resolution that's 2116 to 1080 pixels at the 18 inch to 9 aspect ratio, but the screen to body ratio is higher on the Realme 1. And now the design part is also important because here it's a metal versus glass design being compared here. The Redmi Note 5 Pro comes with a full metal body on the back, that is with the standard 3 cut back design, and there are a few color options given as well. But to be frank, the Realme 1 looks much better with that diamond cut panel on the back, but it isn't a fully glass or a fully plastic one. It's a fiberglass body which is a reinforced glass uh, placed on the plastic body. So that might be still prone to scratches, but we aren't sure yet. Still, it looks better than the Redmi Note 5 Pro easily. Next, getting into the interface, uh, this is where again there's a good difference with the Android version because the Realme 1 comes with the Android 8.1 Oreo based Color OS 5.0. On the other side, it's MIUI 9 based on Android Nougat on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro. To be fair to both the brands, you can always rely on the custom interfaces and you really shouldn't be worrying about the Android versions. But still, the latest Android versions do come with some of the features that can be integrated into these custom interfaces and that is what the Redmi Note 5 Pro will miss out with. Next is the cameras, which is where the Redmi Note 5 Pro clearly would win over the Realme 1 and that's not because of the megapixel numbers. Firstly, it's the dual lens camera on the back of the Redmi Note 5 Pro that's a 12MP plus 5MP combination which gives very good portrait shots and also the color reproduction is quite good on the Redmi Note 5 Pro which doesn't really come up with bad pictures but there's a bit of a high exposure which can be really fixed with the software updates in future but for now that high exposure also leads to loss in the actual color reproduction. For the selfies as well, there's an 8 megapixel camera on the Realme 1 but there's a 20 megapixel camera on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Again, if you talk about the actual qualities, both of them are quite similar except for the fact that you get uh, much sharper pictures on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. But the AI shot is better on the Realme 1 because there is uh, some good beautification done based on the selfie facial recognition. There will be different uh, facial recognition points that is all present on the Realme 1. And even though the Snapdragon 636 also supports these things, there's not a lot done on the Redmi Note 5 Pro's front-facing camera's application. Taking it ahead with the AI part itself, there's also the AI battery management that is done on the Realme 1 which is a part of the Color OS now that is not present on the MIUI. Another part where the Redmi Note 5 Pro can be leading over the Realme 1 easily is with the battery capacity. There's a 4000 mAh battery that powers the phone when compared to the 3400 mAh battery on the Realme 1. Although the usage might vary, we feel that even with the standby and everything together, the Redmi Note 5 Pro should last a bit longer than the Realme 1. Another area where the Redmi Note 5 Pro can easily lead over the Realme 1 is the fact that it supports fingerprint sensor. There is a fingerprint sensor on the back of the device which is not present on the Realme 1. And given that at this price most of the phones come with that, this is rather a disappointment that the Realme 1 doesn't have a fingerprint sensor. It did support the face unlock which works quite well but still, Having the basics is what you expect from a smartphone in this price range. But before we end it, there's one more important part about the connectivity and the slots. There's a dual 4G slot on the Realme 1 and both of them support 4Gs. While on the other side, the Redmi Note 5 Pro supports 4G on one SIM and 3G or 2G on the other one, although we have said that there's an update coming to support 4G on both the SIM slots. But adding to that, there's a dedicated microSD card slot on the Realme 1 which is not present on the Redmi Note 5 Pro because it's a second SIM slot that acts as a hybrid slot for either having a SIM card or a microSD card. So this is it about how do these two phones differ. In some ways, you can feel easily that the Realme 1 has an edge over the other one but the Redmi Note 5 Pro takes it along with the camera and the battery. So these were the differences between the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro and the Realme 1 and there's no clear winner, it's only based on what you look for in a smartphone and which you end up buying. 
Also with the variants, there's 3GB, 4GB and 6GB RAM variants on the Realme 1, while the Redmi Note 5 Pro comes with a 4GB and 6GB RAM variant. But with the storage, the 6GB RAM variant of the Realme 1 comes with 128GB storage and that clearly wins over the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro with the pricing as well. So this was the comparison between these two smartphones. If you have any other questions, do let me know. We'll be coming up with some more comparisons of the speed test of the battery drain. So stay tuned and subscribe to Gizmo Times for more. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.